I tried dropshipping until it worked. Everyone loves the idea of having an online business, being able to print money from anywhere in the world and be free. But not everyone achieves it. I remember seeing all these people living crazy lifestyles claiming that they made so much money from dropshipping. But it all seemed crazy to me. I was still in college, but people my age were buying Lamborghinis. And I remember I thought that they must know something that I don't. When I saw this, I instantly decided to pull the trigger. And I didn't study for months like most people. I simply just jumped into it and learned in the process. I even had a mentor, but I ended up losing a lot of money and I literally went $10,000 in negative trying this business. But today I'm living off dropshipping and my store has done over $600,000 the past 28 days alone. Now my first store was actually in fashion. For some reason I thought that selling watches and dog products would be a genius move. I even ran it with a myshopify.com domain and asked my family to give me $50 to try advertising. Super excited, I launched my advertisements and within minutes I had four people at my store at the same time. And I just remember the feeling of getting visitors being just incredible. But $50 went by overnight in ad spend and I was left with no sales. Zero money and kind of confused. Now with no money to my name, I came up with a hustle though that actually managed to make me a pretty solid income. And I did over $500 the first week using this. As a broke teenager looking for a way out, I started spamming people. I left comments everywhere on random people's Instagram saying, please check out my store. We got the best products for the best price. I also posted my store in relevant Facebook groups to for example, dog owners asking them, has somebody ever bought from this store before? And if so, how was your experience? And it worked. I started making sales overnight, but it was a hustle. I would sit for three to four hours a day spamming comment sections and Facebook groups just to make a couple hundred dollars here and there. But it taught me one thing, dropshipping worked. I quickly built up a budget to advertise my store and it was $350 and Black Friday was the same weekend. I took all my previous experience, fixed up my website and changed the niche, deciding to launch a new store. And this time with a bit more confidence and it went crazy. I found this mini printer and I just thought it was so cool. It allowed you to print anything anywhere and I managed to get it on AliExpress for as little as $7 and sold it for around 40. And I'm not kidding you. The first day of running this product, I made over $800, but it gets even crazier. So I rushed out the store to get ready for Black Friday. It was Thursday and I was up till 4 a.m. in my kitchen, finishing up my store. Kind of in a hurry, I decided to launch the ads and my father came into the kitchen and told me, bro, it's time to get off your PC, go to bed. So I pretended I did and I literally launched the ads from under my blanket. And then I went to sleep. Little did I know that my life would be completely changed the next morning. A kid that nobody believed in who was talking a big, game dreaming about success with dropshipping woke up to over 10 sales on his store the shopify dashboard showed over 400 dollars in sales and i remember i started dancing now i actually documented this this video is not going to be on my channel because it's just cringe but i remember celebrating my first winning product the store went on to make over seven thousand dollars the next day literally 48 hours into running it overnight i was pretty much getting rich i showed it to my family and they were all in disbelief it was as if i finally had cracked the code with dropshipping and i will give it to you today Today. I'll help you in this video today to get your first winning product. And if you listen to me, I will guarantee you your first sales with dropshipping. So stick around because I'm about to explain my strategy. The store went on to make over $25,000 that same week before the supplier decided to ruin everything. The profit was so crazy and my ROAS was over 60 on some of my ad sets. But I could no longer sell the product since the supplier increased the buying price to over $40. And I think the product today costs you like $80. So what does this tell you? I found a window of opportunity and capitalized on it. Sure, the store died out due to unfortunate reasons, but I found a glitch and maximized it. And this gave me a huge budget to experiment with. So I went on to launch my next store, which is where things went insane. Hundreds of thousands of dollars were coming in monthly and I'll tell you all about it in a second. But before that, it's important that you understand something. 
six years ago, I was dreaming about dropshipping. I didn't just kind of want to make some money online. I was pretty much willing to die for it. I was on vacation with my family, sneaking out of the hotel room to the reception to study dropshipping. I was at dinner tables, antisocial on my phone, discussing with online friends how we could make money with dropshipping. I also used to party a lot and would work at the parties. I didn't take a second off. Every single time that I would drink, I started ranting about Facebook ads for hours. It's like it just did not leave my mind. So I was so obsessed with dropshipping that my entire subconscious mind was filled with it. I only thought about getting rich, nothing else. 24 hours of the day and I even dreamt about it. So why do you think I won? Because I'm any smarter than you? Because I had a great starting point? No, I was a complete dumb with the worst business ideas. Wanting to sell an ebook or make a watch store named after my own name. But I had one thing, the hunger. Nothing would stop me from achieving my goal. I didn't take a second off chasing my dreams and I didn't care if it would take me two years to get there. Every day I was learning and fueling myself with motivation, looking at other dropshippers YouTube videos. I eventually developed a genius strategy that I use to this day. It's so good that it takes complete beginners that I mentor from zero to one $1,000 sometimes within the first week. It's proven and if you execute on it for some weeks, you're guaranteed to make money. I found trendy products in the US and brought them over to Europe. But not only did I do that, I also sat down and thought, how can I make this different? How can I take this trendy product and sell it to my own audience rather than competing? Healthcare products to people drinking too much, aging creams for teenagers struggling with acne, cameras for children turned into vintage cameras for teenagers. And I even took a home decor product that had nothing to do with meditation and turned it into a meditation device using a projector before bedtime. I thought different and grab my own audience. See, every product out there can be used for multiple purposes. And once you follow this, you will no longer be stuck. Sales will come in. Now, one thing that I've learned though in my journey is that the product is everything. You can have the perfect website, but without a good product, it just won't work. And as someone who does mentorship for dropshipping and teach people, I can tell you that 90% of your time, your problem is just your product. People just don't know how to choose a good one. And by the way, if you want to learn dropshipping from me personally, you can send me a message on Instagram here. So I didn't just find cool products and sold them instantly. I did my research on them, designed amazing websites, and I never hurried to get my product out there. I worked with quality and with speed. And most people dropship on and off. They're not hungry, they don't really care. I was obsessed, that's why I won. I literally forced the universe to work in my favor. So I started making making serious money selling healthcare products. I remember making my first 100K month, then a 200K month and life started getting crazy. I was 18 years old making 20 to $30,000 a month in profit. I felt like I had beaten the game, but God quickly humbled me. I purchased a supercar, spent all my money and went broke owing up to around $18,000 I think it was in taxes. And this freaked me out of course. My store died out over the summer of 2020 and I had no income with a bunch of debt to pay. So I decided to start from scratch again, this time just working to pay off debt. It was just not enjoyable anymore but I kept promising to myself that next time I'm given this kind of opportunity. I'll make sure to not screw it up. And I'm actually so thankful that it happened because it taught me a very important lesson. It's this, copying other people when dropshipping and jumping on other trends will never work. So you need to be the one who either sets the standard in a market or two, finds their own market. But hold on a second, there's more stuff that I need to explain. Let's just recap really quickly. So look at my videos, for example, on YouTube, they get around like 3000 views. And that's because you guys wanna watch dopamine edited dropshipping challenges that don't teach you anything. I don't know why that is, but if you search for Europe dropshipping on YouTube, all of the top videos are mine and I'm happy with that. I'd much rather specialize in and dominate the European dropshipping market than to compete worldwide and get mediocre results. And that's exactly what I did with dropshipping too. I give trendy products a new life in, for example, new markets or countries, or I thought to myself, how can I twist this product and apply it to a completely new market or audience? And once I cracked this code, money started flowing into me. Today, I'm financially free. Six years later, I'm living in Dubai. I have everything I ever dreamed of. But with more money comes more problems. I need to find myself and learn more about life, for example. I'm still not even an expert at everything. There's still tons of 
problems that I'm facing in my own business, but at least it's been super profitable. But I want you to know that the one thing that separated me and you was my obsession. That's why I got rich and it happened fast. You will never know all the steps when starting. You will have to simply just start walking the path and it will become clear. For every step you take, you will see what works and what doesn't. And you can't just be stuck in observer mode studying dropshipping for months. So jump into it and stop wasting time. And it might just be the best decision that you'll ever make.